today, and today we're going to have a game of Mega Blasters on the Amstrad CPC, and this is a game request by Jack Hacken on YouTube. Okay, this game um, is very temperamental to load up. Um, I cannot load this in WinApe. Um, Caprice, I couldn't load this up. The only emulator that I seem to have any luck with is CPCE, but I've not tried Java CPC. So maybe that might work. That might work. I don't know. But so far, the only one I've had a bit of luck is CPCE. So if you want to play this game, maybe use CPCE to play it. It might work with Win8. Maybe you have to um, choose some change some settings I don't know but I wasn't going to mess about couldn't be bothered so I just went with an emulator and I know this game will work well I didn't know but I just tried different emulators and eventually I found it to work so I'm not one for fucking about so let's get on with the game so never played it played it before of course came out quite late in the CPC life came out in 1994 right so that's 10 years when the CPC first got released. I think it's a disc game only, so I'm only imagining it, it would only have worked on a 1 to 8K um, machine. So, okay, we've got some nice music going on. Right, let's have a look at the menu if it gets back there. Um, right, one player or options. Let's have a look at the options. And you can define our keys, password, clear, high scores messages right let's define keys because I've had a test run of this because I had to right now I've got to wait for the fucking right no we don't define keys right as you notice it's got fire button one and fire button two so I'm going to use my control pad and re redefine my buttons and keys and my maneuvers like this so up down left right fire one a Fire two is but button two because the Amstrad CPC could support up to two fire buttons if you didn't know that. Yes, now it's not just the plus machines; that's the original CPCs as well. Right, so let's start the game. As we've waffled quite enough, so let's have it on easy. And I might have to change the disc at this point. Oh no, it gives you a little introduction, but we're not going to read the introduction. Basically what this, <laughs> excuse me, basically what this game is, it's sort of like a Bomberman clone. So if you want to pause it, feel free to pause the video if you want to read the instructions. Right, so, okay, this is where we start. So now I've got to swap the discs around, so please bear with me. Push any key, I think that's done it. No, I haven't done it, what the fuck's going on? Right, uh Right. Sorry about that. A little bit of a bit of fucking about there, swapping the discs over. Cause I'm not used to CPCE, of course. Uh right, anyway, it's loading up. Loading up the first stage, I hope. Right. Even more of a temperamental glitch there. For some reason, this two wouldn't lower, but now I had to restart the emulator, and now it's working. So let's play the game. Oh. So I'm sure we've all played Bomberman. Don't know if I have back in the day. Though. We say we all played it, but I don't know even know if I have. So what we got to do? Go around. We got load of bombs so we've got to um, kill everything that moves and that's level one done oh I've got hit there so we get an energy meter so it's not instant death if we get touched oh Oh shit, so I did get touched then. So you don't want to get hit by your own bomb. Just go around. 
we can only, we don't know how many bombs you can deposit at one time. Oh shit, I lost my lost a life there. Um, yeah, it's a really nice game to play. Really surprised it come out so late on the CPC. Oh, I've got one. No! Alright, so we've got five to get. Oh, we just missed that one. No, no, no! Oh shit, why did I do that for? So many lives. You get a number of lives, I think. Shit. Oh, damn. Well, I've got that one, but. Damn. I'm exactly playing this right, am I? But. Yes, got it. So that's level one done after a lot of faffing about. Level 2, so it's always a success if I get off level 1 for the first time I played it. Not a bad little game, but is it worth the fucking about trying to get this game working though? No. Maybe at first, yes, but I wouldn't want to keep doing it all the time if the emulation sometimes messes up. Don't know why it's so temperamental. Oh shit, I blocked myself in there. Damn. Really nice music going on. Oh shit. Damn. Not doing very well at this, am I? Right, I've only got four left. you in there. Damn, wrong side. Damn it. Gotcha. Oh, I didn't get him. Perhaps you have to take, it takes a few hits to get this one. Come on. Damn! How many lives have I got? Two lives left. Yes, I know I'm probably messing this up. But... Oh! Oh no! Shit! Bloody hell. Yes, gotcha. Right, so that's level two completed. Excellent, we're doing well. Level three, so I'm just a rookie at this. Well, I play like a rookie. <laughs> oh. Safe there, yes. No, no, no. 
Ah, bollocks, one more life left. Oh, I've got to say, the colours are really nice. Plays pretty decently. I'd be curious to see if this come out on any other system. Maybe it come out on the Amiga. Ah, oh, bollocks. So this is my last life now. Who was the closest thing I come to Bomberman? I think it was oh, I can't remember, Boulder Dash, I think. Because I don't think, as I said, I didn't play uh, Bomberman back in the day. Yeah, I played Boulder Dash on the Commodore 64. That's the closest I've got to Bomberman. Uh oh! Oh, got away with that. Yes, gotcha. Right, two more to go. Let's see if we can get off level three. Be an achievement. My health is looking good. Just need to get one close. Need to at least get it round. Yes! Get it in there, maybe I can get lucky. Yeah, oh! Got one, got one, got one. Maybe I can trap him. No, I've just trapped myself for fuck's sake! But I did it, that was lucky. Hang on a minute. Right, am I missing the point? I've got everything. Oh no, the train, there's another one down there, look, there's a train. You utter bastard! Ah! Oh! Gotcha! Yes! That was. That could have gone either way. I didn't see that train down the bottom there. Right, so level four. And I've bloody fucked up already! Hang on, wait. everything's stationary, so you've got to look for it. Okay. As you can see. So this is my last life and my energy's right down so I can't see myself getting off level 4. Oh! I've screwed myself up. Now I'm dead. So now I've got to insert bloody discs again. Right, so we've got to keep swapping discs. This is the... Well, if you was used to an Amiga, then I suppose it wouldn't have been so bad. And I say it's four discs, it's actually, because I keep forgetting, um, it's two discs because that you have to keep swapping the discs over, you have to swap the sides over, so so really it's only two discs because one disc you, you have to flip them over where the Amiga version, where the Amiga disc you didn't have to flip them over because it read both sides. That's right, keep forgetting about that because I never owned a disk drive for my Amstrad CPC 464. So, there you go. But the game itself is pretty good. Nice and colourful, plays very well. Um, considering that was my first real go at it, I think I might have reviewed Bomberman, I can't remember now. Um, but yeah, it's first go of it, it's pretty good. I could have seen myself playing that back in the day, but 1994 was a bit late. Um, by then, I was I was on the Commodore Amiga by then, so I don't even know if I owned an Amstrad at that point. I think I just got rid of it. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.